few days ago I mentioned about a spreadsheet that I made for making draw boxes. I made it available for download on my website. I use the spreadsheet to work out the draw box sizes for when I'm using the lay dovetail jig. I'm using the 128 dovetail cutter on 15 mil draw sides to produce a half blind dovetail like this. I've got that set up so that it leaves it's 3.5 mil of like half blind timber on the end of the dovetail. I've also added in one millimeter of protrusion on the front and back board of the draw box because it's much easier to sand that off than it is if it's slightly shallow of the side of the draw. So that's in the jig as well. So if you want 12 mil of clearance in the opening size in the width, I've allowed 11 on the cut length of these boards to allow for that half a mil of protrusion. So on the jig key, just want to allow on one of the settings, not this one, it's the other setting. So when you flip this bar over, I want to allow for 15 and a half mil for that to give you that tiny lip on the board there to make that nice and easy at the cleanup stage. And we'll go on the computer now, I'll take you through the spreadsheet and how I use it. I've built this on the Mac, so it works really well on numbers. You can export it as an Excel file. It's not quite as good on Excel. Okay, so let's quickly run you through this program. Basically, this is the um, table you want to put your draw box sizes into. So the little description box, you can call it draw one. How many there is, let's say five. Put the opening width in then of the actual cabinet opening size of your face frame. Don't allow anything the tight size of the opening in the face frame. So let's keep it simple. Let's put that at a metre opening height, 150 mil. Then runner length is going to be what runners you want to use in the cabinet. So this example, let's say we're using 600 mil runners. Pop them into that first table. It's a really simple spreadsheet. Then just on the other sheets, there's the draw size. That's your finished draw size. You want to make the draw to suit them runners. So 988 in width is allowing 12 mil, so it's six mil either side. Finished draw height, I'm allowing 25 mil in the height. So it gives you about 10 mil above the draw to the top of the opening and 15 mil underneath if you fit your runners really, really close to the bottom of the opening. But generally it gives you about eight mil above and 17 mil below. Finished draw depth, 590. So that's the 600 mil runner. And that's for if you're notching both ends of your draw box so that the clips that attach the runners in place screw to the face frame part of the draw. That's sort of your table. You can check that you've got the right amount and the right sizes of your drawers. Timber cut list is really handy, obviously, for cutting and getting your timber out and cutting it to final size. So. These are final size dimensions, as if you've been watching the last few videos, you'll understand why that's 989. It's the 12 mil allowance in the width of that one meter with a one millimeter added back on to allow for it to protrude through the joint by half a mil that gets sanded off in like the machining process. It's really easy to forget stuff like that when you're not doing this all the time. So that's incorporated in there for me. The width of the piece of timber is obviously the new height of the draw, so the draw size is now 125 high because it's allowed that 25 mil. So that gives me the timber width for them pieces. Much the same in the length, the 583 is the 600 mil draw runner length, less the 10 mil because that's what length we make it if we're notching it in the way that I use it. And then the half blind dovetails allow about three and a half mil on the ends of them pieces of timber for the half blind dovetail so that the pin boards are shown through there's about three and a half mil of pin board basically left on the end of the dovetail so that's why that extra seven mil is taken off that measurement so that gives us our 583 and then the quantity is obviously two times per draw this what this spreadsheet was really difficult for me to get to work because whenever you do any automation on the calculations obviously if I put draw two in here like that to get the cut list then to do two lines of cut list to suit one line of um, input here was really tricky to, to do I've had a, a real head scratching time trying to get this to work thankfully it is it's a bit of a bodge like you can see here this is line two and this is line four so now if I try and adjust any of the other calculations it kind of messes it up but it works as it sits. So that's our cutting list. So we can 
get our timber out to suit that. Obviously, if you're cutting rough sawn timber, you want to add a little bit onto them, but that's really easy to do on the fly. And I prefer to know the finish size so that if I'm working with a bit of wood and there is an imperfection, I can know whether it's actually going to end up being okay or not. This is probably one of the more handy sections of the chart. It's the draw bottom panel. So when you've got your front face frame sizes, which you'll probably have at your drawing stage of your kitchen, you can take all of them sizes, put them into this thing, and it will give you the draw bottom sheet cut list. And you can then work out how many sheets of, um, say, 9mm ply or whatever you're using in the draw bottoms you're going to need for the job. This is worked out with um, the info there. So 15mm draw sides, 7.5mm deep groove, which is half the thickness of the side. And then I've allowed 1mm for clearance. So there'll be effectively a 7mm of the panel will stick into each side so it allows one mil overall it's also got the grain direction across the drawer so it suits like this one meter drawer you wouldn't have the grain going front to back finally added a little this is a nice little thing at the end is it gives you your runner's order so once you put say all the drawers in the thing like i have done here this is all the drawers for the kitchen i'm making at the minute so there's 20 drawers in here you go to the draw runner order sheet it will tell you how many runners you need to order of what size and it's added them up for you so i need two pairs at 600 six at 550 and so on and it's really handy to have that information straight away without having to sort of add it up and probably make a mistake somewhere along the way which is a great little tool so the best bit about it is like i mentioned is for me anyway i don't make drawers maybe once a year i'll make a batch of drawers and it's really easy to forget how much you allow for things, how much you're given the height and the width and stuff. And to have this spreadsheet just sat there and you put your numbers in, it does it all for you. It's really, really great thing to have. Like I say, it's available for download on the website.